hi guys I just want you to know that now you can join my channel uh, on your PC or your phone uh, you would click the join you can join for $9.99 each month and get early access to all videos and you can also um, get one question answered by me every month um, and you'll get access to all the extendeds there is also another tier uh, for $14.99 uh, you will get two questions answered every month and access to uh, all the extended readings and early access to just all videos so take advantage now uh, it's here for you thank you take care Hi, Sagittarius. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing the Aquarius. I said the Aquarius. Somebody I'm doing Aquarius, Lord. Blessing the Sagittarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Sag. It looks like somebody is in need of a doctor. They're in need of a like therapy. Some this could even be couples therapy. Someone needs to go to couples therapy, or, or somebody needs to mediate the conversation. There needs to be a third party in regards to talking it out or talking it over. Somebody's tired of somebody giving a little bit. This also could mean in reverse because it came out in reverse. It means a lot. Somebody feels like. Someone is stealing from them a lot or taking from them a lot or took a lot from them or some somebody is really want like this could even be home theft or in the home. Uh, someone took something. This could even be like or, or someone's feeling like um, another party is not giving enough. That happens in so many different ways. It's not even that somebody can take your valuables. Somebody feels like someone's taking their time, stealing their time, stealing their goodness, their essence. Someone could also feel like someone's lying about where they want the relationship to go. This could even be an energy of stalking, trying to figure out. This could be an energy of, um, there's somebody here who feels like they're above and they're a bit conceited and they have this and they have that, but they don't like being shut out or not being able to talk to you, Sag or vice versa. Yeah, six of swords. And there's that Aquarius. We talked, we said that earlier, Aquarius card, uh, second deacon Aquarius. It looks like somebody's moved on without you or moved on and taking the children or moved on and not talking to you or moved on and or actually moved or someone's just you know, release the headache of the relationship, or this is what you're doing. Or this is what you're, you've done in regards to maybe another person. It's like somebody sneaking around trying to figure out what is going on. What is this person doing? Where are they at? Where do they live? Where are they going? Who are they with? Someone is hoping that they can run into said individual. No, either this is you, Sag, or this is the other person hoping that they run into you. They get the opportunity to talk to you. What is doctor? You had the eight of swords. Somebody is constantly thinking about the other person. Somebody needs to get therapy, get help. Someone is fixated on. Someone feels like they can't get over. They can't let go of. The other person has agency over their life and what they do. And if this person would just come back to me and talk to me, then things will be better or I can let go or I can move on. Even though I'm conceited and I feel like I'm the best and I have this or I have that or people are jealous of me, I still can't get over. What is thief here? We got thief. Six of Pentacles. Somebody could feel like someone stole something, took something. Someone also feels like somebody took their power back. Okay. And now this person has to act like a thief and sneak around and try to figure out what the other person is doing. This just reads like maybe somebody left a relationship and the other person is now chasing. So we have a runner and a chaser and not really that the person is running, but they're just gone. They're just taking their power back. They're not giving any more to this connection, to this relationship. And now the other person is kind of uh, scrambling 
uh, flailing, uh, trying to tread water in regards to trying to figure out what this person is doing. They're all over the place. They're, um, yeah, they're all over the place here. Then like the fact that, de why, dang, Aquarius definitely could be significant here for some of you, maybe around Aquarius season or someone is an Aquarius. It's just like, maybe, I don't know if you want forgiveness from this person, you dream about this person, you think about this person, you see them on the platform, you think that they're beauty, that they're beautiful, um, that they're fashionable, or this is how someone views you. It's just like someone's looking up to you or you're looking up to them or someone's looking you up or they wanna be around you. This is the heavy energy of stalking, can't get over you. Someone doesn't like being, not being in the other person's life here in which someone is trying to set up or set themselves up to see you, to be around you, to like, oh, you're here. Oh, you're, oh, you shop at this grocery store when they have been stalking the grocery store in your neighborhood. Yeah, it could be you, Sag, the Wheel of Fortune. It could be done with a Piscean or a Sag. It's like somebody just can't believe that it's over, it is done, or it's dissipating, or it's disseminating, or it's turning into something else, or someone really thought it would never be over, that someone would never change their mind about them, or that it would never make any changes in regards to the relationship. But it looks like someone did make a change, they moved on, or an actual physical move, or they got in control of their life. It's funny, the Aquarius sits on this card too, with Scorpio and Taurus and Leo. It's just like somebody is just really not concerned about you or you're not concerned about them. And it's just, it's driving somebody mad. Somebody is crazy with, you know, jealousy or just the energy of wanting to know. Someone can't get, yeah. Somebody is sitting pretty, minding their business, not concerned with either you or you not concerned with them. And somebody can't get over it. Someone doesn't understand how you cannot talk to me anymore. How you can shut me out. You can act like I don't exist. You can act like you never knew me. Someone's just, it's, it be, they're bewildered. They're, they're flabbergasted. They just can't, you know, wrap their mind around it. This is what I have for you, Sagittarius. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Have you shut somebody out and they just can't deal with the fact that you don't want to deal with them anymore? Um, or is this happening to you? Um, go over to the website, book your reading there. Take advantage of uh, the, the discount code 40% off. Uh, use code 40 off at checkout. You can also um, get in on the, uh, you can ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. You can also catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are a business owner or you would like to become a business owner, you can um, sign up for the monthly uh, conference calls. It's the KTMG monthly conference calls. Keep the momentum going. Um, to where we talk about valuable business um, uh, resources, methods, methodology. You get around uh, like-minded business individuals. Um, you let the exchange happen. Um, you also could talk, we talk about starting business and maintaining. So if that's something you're interested in, um, get involved in that. It's not just, uh, so we're using spiritual and practical methods in regards to starting and maintaining our business. So get in, take advantage of that. All links are below. Take care. Many blessings to you. We were meant to create. Sometimes our desires to create are blocked spiritually, mentally, emotionally, or even physically. And this prevents us from reaching our highest aspirations. If you are an entrepreneur or you would like to become one, and you're in need of some sage advice and direction, then you're in the right place. As a successful entrepreneur, spiritual guide, and intuitive business coach, I can offer you the clarity and support you need to find success and reach your goals. With decades of experience as a trusted tarot card reader, a franchise owner, my practical and spiritual approach to entrepreneurship will help you reach your full potential as an established business owner. Whether you're struggling with making tough decisions or simply trying to find your path in life, I can help you 
learn the tools you need to create your business dreams. Take some time today and schedule your free consultation with me so that we can begin to make your business dreams a reality.